Well, a powerful new drama on Broadway looks at complicated relationships between caregivers and the people they're helping. Yeah, we learn about the play Cost of Living on the scene with News 12's John Bathke. Don't interrupt me. Yeah, okay. Cool. In the midst of their divorce, a couple's sad. world is further upended. I'm sad. You don't want the music. I am when she is paralyzed in an accident. Now they are experiencing caregiving and conflict. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Don't promise me things, Eddie. Roles that are deeply personal for both David Zayas and Katie Sullivan. I was born uh, without the lower halves of my legs. It's all I've ever known. Sullivan performs in a wheelchair without her prosthetics. This is probably the most vulnerable performance I have ever seen on a Broadway stage. What is the most difficult moment for you? It's the moment that I enter for the first time, because I know culturally we're sort of taught to look away from, I, it happens to me every day. I walk down the street and people avert their eyes. As an audience member, your job is to stare. <laughs> so. It's this very dynamic moment. Cost of Living, a Pulitzer Prize winning play produced by the Manhattan Theater Club, unfolds in two separate storylines, juxtaposing the lives and needs of working class Eddie and Annie, and wealthy academic John and his hired caregiver Jess. I have money. I can basically do anything I want except the things I can't. Played by Kara Young and Greg Mazgala, he is an actor with cerebral palsy. Zayas says his part has led to much introspection. You said you had to knock down some blockages. What do you mean? What I mean is the loss I've had in my life. I've had to be the one to uh, maintain strength without never really touching on my grief, my loneliness. I've been able with this place, it's given me the opportunity to actually force that out. He says it's like holding up a mirror to one's own feelings and flaws, something the audience may experience too. John Bathke, News 12. Well, The Cost of Living is performed at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater and it's scheduled to run through October 30th.